Hello people, I hope you're having a great day. In this video it's going to be about uh, something for myself really. Um, I actually employ a few people and what I want to do is I want to do a contact form where they just have the passwords and that for themselves. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this in Bootstrap Studio. I've actually drawn it out and just made a rough guide of what I need. But this is what you're actually seeing this for the first time there was no dry run or anything in this so we'll go to new design and we just pick the first one which is just the template yeah there we go right so need a header or some other Let's see what's about with the headers if there's any fancy ones um, We just go with a normal one. So just pop that in there. So you've got the header there. So convert to HTML, like usual I do, if you follow the channel, where it says custom code. And we can open with a external editor. And we're gonna do this with brackets. Uh, brackets is probably my favorite uh, popular editor it does have bugs and all sorts and I don't think it's really been updated for probably over a year now which is uh, disappointing especially from Adobe um, so what we're going to do with this is we're just going to put in a few different things just contact form and what have you so and maybe h1 tag perhaps so, that. so there you are there's the header and i think i've shown you this before where it actually synchronizes with bootstrap studio so if we just go here and we edit code on here so we see the header there we see the same in brackets and if we just go there a little bit, it's hard to see because the colors are very, very similar with brackets and bootstrap studio. So just do that there. So the header we want maybe, um, this is a uh, login password, let's put this login. We just do file and save and there you see it there and they're synchronized so we'll just have a look of what is happening here log on password and let's try and find the CSS to this uh, right create sender so there you go there's your login password sender and we just go back to custom code and I'll put an h1 tag in there so h1 and we just copy and paste that I'll put and paste should I say and there we go file and again save and there you'll get the h1 and this should show up as well on here right so this part's done uh, the the you know this uh, i'm saying this part's done what i mean by is like i'll sketch something out and that's what i want it to, to look like for now um right so i want a menu on the left hand side so if we can find something there menu uh What's the, what they call the sidebar menus, aren't they? Sidebar menu. Spelled that wrong. Let's just check. I see there's one online. That's 
will be as sidebar menu and we're just going to install that install component was install right so we'll just go to this so uh yeah so just pop that in there uh, and we're just going to do a preview on that i think see what that really looks like Review, go on. Um, preview options. And open in browser. And I think I've got Opera GX browser for this. It is GX browser. Quite like this one. Not sure about the security on it though. Um, so there we go there's a sidebar menu and if we just do that and then that and that's fine that's good right I think I'm going to do this in two parts because there is quite a bit of coding on this um, obviously the, I, I mean I'm not interested in having the black of the sidebar menu so I just want to I, all I want is to, to start off with the um, what I've got on a piece of paper and, and then the code comes next and that part is the you know the most difficult part as coding always is or programming anyway um, and now I want a login form and I know there's quite a million of these login forms on here login form login form dark login form clean I'll go for the login form clean I'm going to pop that in there. So we're just going to do a preview again of that. So if that actually come up and uh, once it's reloaded and it's taken a while. Like I've said many times on here as well is that uh, when you're using a video or screenshot program it, uh, it can really do the resources it's not a powerful laptop this but i love it and um so yeah so you just do the slide sidebar menu it slides to the left and this here is the uh login password so i think that's going to be it for now that's the first part of it um uh, what uh what like i want the um people that, that work for us to do is just to to have this uh password I'm going to put a lot of stuff on there where it, where it is, is a few people and I want to put where they have their documents and things like that for themselves so there has to be a password um, email I'm not really too bothered about but you know this this should work so that's that's what I'm trying to do with this is um, when I always say because a lot of people and they think yeah, I've got to use Photoshop for you know you HTML Photoshop to HTML which is just silly um, you, you're spending so much more time doing it that way whereas like with uh, which what I was showing you is just right just put it down on a piece of paper you don't have to be the greatest drawer in the world even though it's a skill it's not a talent um, you don't have to be that my sketches um, I mean I used to do a lot of art but the sketches I use for, for web development and stuff like that is very, very, very sketchy. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, that's, I've got exactly what I need from uh, this video because like now I have to code it. There's a lot of CSS to do. Um, but yeah, that's me for now and I hope you've learned something from that. And I'll get back to doing the second part of this video at some point. So it'll probably be either just one more video or two more videos in this little series just a little bit of how i work things out um we just make sure everything's responsive if we just take that sidebar out yeah that's that's pretty spot on that i like that um and for what i've got to do and this is how you how i build websites um the the drawing part of it is there's a there's a saying that that's been there a long time it says if you can draw you, you can build it and this is uh, what i'm trying to trying to uh, do in these videos so once again thanks for watching 